This video is about the latest U.S. new home sales data put against my softwood lumber prices, which come out every week. Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here with another juicy, juicy update, this time on the latest data for U.S. new home sales, which just came out uh, in October for September. And the picture for the home selling activity, which of course drives new home construction activity, which of course brings demand for softwood lumber and the prices that we track at Madison's every week. And so, yes, it's true that uh, home sales, uh, new home sales are down in the US, which is not unexpected, but there is some things in the data release which tell a good story more than just the slowdown that we are having obviously due to lending rates and of course inflation in other ways making it a little bit prohibitive for some folks who it had intended to buy a new home perhaps a little bit outside of their price range uh, now coming to the point where they are being rejected for financing and so let's look real quick at the graphs and see what the data is right now uh, against my lumber prices and what is that story telling us for the last couple of months of this year 2022. So U.S. new home sales for September of this year was 603,000 units which is down 11% from August when it was 677,000 units and is down 18% from September of 2021 when it was 732,000 units. So now looking at this graph, you can see the strong correlation certainly starting from the early part of 2020 to the present between my lumber prices, which are the three colored lines, and the new home sales, which is the purple line, especially toward the end where we're getting into these most recent months, July, August, September, my lumber prices are bumping up and down just a little bit there, and so are the new home sales. So this is just a reminder that my data comes out every week for that week, while the housing starts and the home sales data, they come out once a month for the previous month, so basically on a six week lag. Really important to note in the data, which a lot of other new services don't cover, is that the ratio of homes sold which were still under construction was 65%. Homes sold not yet started was 23%. And homes sold that were completed was 12%. That's for September. In August, homes sold that were completed was 27%. To me, that indicates a dropping of supply and a ongoing momentum of demand. We'll see as the future months unfold, but keep coming back here to find out more. Okay, great. And so that's a good picture of year to date, uh, 2022 for January to September. And a couple of things, like I said, deeper down in the data that don't often get reported by other services that I think are really important to take a note of in terms of what is the momentum of the demand, not just are we up or down month over month or even year over year, but what is underpinning the demand for housing and what, are, what does that indicate for what's gonna happen future in the market over the next few months during next year, 2023. So then in terms of lumber prices, getting into a little bit more detail, this is the benchmark construction framing two by four item, Western Spruce Pine Fir. I call it the benchmark because it's produced and sold at among the highest volume all across North America. Uh, at the end of October, this price was US $480 per thousand poured feet, which was down $44 or 8% from the previous month when it was $524 and is down $150 or 24% from one year ago when it was $630. So this is what I'm saying about the correlation between the rise and fall of both housing starts and home sales and the rise, of, rise and fall of lumber prices. So if you look at this graph at the yellow line this year, you can see how in the past two years, that trend toward the end of the year really started to match up. 
that's pretty unusual. It wasn't like that in the um, historically. We'll see what happens this year, but so far that yellow line does look like it's headed toward where 2021 and 2020 ended. Here's those prices again that I show you all the time. The top three two by four items that are used all across North America, Western Spruce, Southern Pine, East Side, and Eastern Spruce. You've got your studs there, again, Western Spruce, and then the Douglas Fir, uh, specialty item, but very appreciated by architects and builders uh, on the U.S. Eastern Seaboard and for custom home building, higher end home building in Texas and California. And then that bottom line is your panel. We've chosen Canadian softwood plywood out of Toronto, 9.5 millimeters. So you can see where at the end of October, there was a bit of a moderating, uh, looks like it's evening out. The uh, last month uh, column there showing a drop, but not as drastic as it had been last year. And here we have the same three lumber items as was in the first graph against the median new house price for September, which was US $471,000, up 7% from August when it was $436,000, and up 14% from September of 2021 when it was $413,000. So now this uh, data does not correlate quite as perfectly as the home sales data, but there is something important for people to understand that where the leading indicator of the lumber prices is going over the trend line compared to the trend line of the house prices does match up quite nicely. So that's the relationship between you know, new home sales, new housing starts, and lumber sales. Another last thing I'm going to say about the data for the home sales is that only 6,000 new homes in the U.S. in September were under $300,000. So we're having some changes to the prices of the homes, but there's a uplift to what is the bottom and in a similar way, if you watch my previous videos that I made for uh, last month, October, same thing. There is an uplift to what is the price bottom for the lumber, the building materials. Uh, and so I'll just leave it there for now. If you like what you see, subscribe here on YouTube to be notified when I make another update. Click like so this video will be recommended to other viewers. If you need more information, rather than just this very small snapshot that I do quite infrequently, subscribe to my dashboard. You can go on my website. There's a link here in the caption. You can request a sample. We'll send you the 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track every week and what that price is right now. And we'll send you the 1300 word commentary explaining what's happening in the market. Why are those prices changing?